today on Be Something Wonderful, how to assume your new reality and true identity. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had some really powerful sessions yesterday, and with one of you, it was, it, it was regarding your SP, that you have manifested your SP, that your SP, he's back in your life, and everything seems to you perfect, but not really. <laughs> so you're saying something seems off, and I just, I just don't know what it is. I just I'm feel, I feel like I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. And then uh, another you, another one of you that I had a session with said that you've been manifesting everything you want, that money comes easily, that, that promotions at work, whatever you want comes. And you, and you even mentioned that you don't even use processes. When you, use pro you said when you use processes, it feels hard and it doesn't come. So you just be it, you, you call it forth. This is amazing. But you said with respect to love, that it doesn't happen like that, and that, and, and, and that it's difficult. So I, I want to hit both of these, and a third question that didn't come from a session, but came from one of you on the channel when you asked about oneness. Tom, I, I get this idea of oneness and wholeness and, 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 and being one with, with uh, your true identity, with your true I am, with your higher being, but I just was wondering if you could just talk, get, 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 un, go a little deeper on that, if you, could, if you could show us how to do that. Well, guys, we're gonna cover all of this today and more. So here's what I wanna start with today. It's not about ignoring or escaping the 3D world of duality. Duality is here so we can identify as something to experience what we already are. You hear this? We're, we're perfect supreme beings. We're multidimensional. We're, we're living many realities all at the same time, and we're here to experience part of that all that is. That's duality. So oneness or aligning with your higher self and true I am is about, is about co consciously being aware of duality and realizing it's not who you really are. Hear about, hear this, <laughs> hear about this. Oneness and aligning with your higher self and true I am is about consciously being aware of duality, right? Being conscious and aware of duality and realizing it's not who you really are. That's what we mean about oneness. It's about bringing your, being conscious and aware of that higher you in that the world of duality is not who you really are, but yet you get to create within it. And you get to create based on that higher identity. It's when we identify with something that's not that ideal, that we, that we feel that we're lacking something. And so we create circumstances so we can overcome that lack. And that's why we create the same circumstances over and over, because you can't overcome that lack from identity that's identifying with that lack. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. Allow the limitations of duality to exist in the 3D world. The being and not being, the have and the not having, the love and the not loving. You have no choice, they do exist. That's what relativity is. That's what duality is. But don't allow it to exist in your consciousness. Hear this, this is such a big point. Allow, look around, allow duality, but don't let it to dwell in your consciousness. It's, it's only when you allow it to define your I am identity, this duality, that you split off from this consciousness of oneness and become bound by these self-imposed limitations. Like Lazarus, Lazarus, he was bound. He was resurrected, but he was still bound by the 3D world. This is big. So allow that duality to exist, but don't be bound to it, right? Because, because you can exist in the 3D world and be bound to it, or you can exist within. This is what it means to be, um, to, to be in this world, but not of this world, right? So let's hit this a little bit more. Here's your unwanted reality. Here's your unwanted reality. This is the duality we're talking about. You're here saying, I don't have love. I'm not loved. Or in other words, I'm an identity of someone 
who's not lovable. Do you see this? That becomes your identity with these thoughts. You're waiting, so, so here, but your new reality, so, so when you do, whatever way you get there, if it's through processes, or imagining your wish fulfilled, scripting, subliminals, meditation, you get there and finally get to this point where you say, I have love, I am loved, and I'm someone who is lovable, right? You have love in your life, you have your SP, and you're saying, I have love, I am loved, I'm someone who is lovable, but... Even with this identity, even with this new reality, this new manifestation, this new identity, you're still waiting for the proverbial shoe to drop. You're still limited by the fear of losing that love or trying to hold on to that love and you become clingy and needy. This is big. Do you see this? Because of this identity that I have, I am love, I'm loved, I have loved, I'm someone who's lovable, there's still a deeper I am identification that's holding you back from everything you want, right? And, and, and so, so here's the duality. I, I don't have love in my life. I have love in my life. But you're still limited. Love is still separate and outside of you. You still believe you and love are separate. Even with this identity, you still believe that there's separation there. That's why. You can have a good time in this wanted reality. You can, you can enjoy some peace. You, the processes are working for you. You're attracting things. But underneath that is still that, that, that identifying with that lack and separation that another shoe could drop because you, that's what you believe or you're limited by, by losing it or you're going to cling and try to hold on to it. And this is what pushes your, that love away from you again. And then you start the process all over again. Do you hear this, right? So let's, um, we're going to come back to this. So even if you moved to the wanted reality, manifested what you want, in other words, you still create events and conditions in attempt to overcome this improved but still limited identity. It's improved over I don't have love and I'm not lovable, right? Now you're saying I have love. I'm lovable, but you're still feeling separate. Love's still outside of you. It still can be pulled from you at any moment. The rug can be pulled under your feet. The shoe can drop. The other shoe can drop. At any moment, you can lose that love unless you hold tightly to it, unless you cling to it, unless you do the right things, unless you be the right person, right? Having, lo having it, love is good. Not having love is bad. That's what you've been identifying with. Right, so you move to, okay, having love is good. I got an SP. This is good, but there's something still wrong. What's that thing that's still wrong? It's that, it's that, uh, that identity underneath, that deeper identity to that lack, to that separation, to the possibility that the other shoe can drop. So let the duality exist in the 3D world of created things, but not in the I am consciousness of the creator. Do you hear this? So let that duality exist, that having love is good and not having love is bad. It exists anyway. But, but, but let that duality exist of created things, but not in the I am consciousness of you, the creator. You're the creator. But once you start buying into that duality, you become something less. Wow. When your consciousness is unbound, right? Unbound and set free, just like Lazarus. Right? You no longer need to push against and try to manipulate reality to get what you want. That's big. Do you hear this? When you no longer identify in any way with that lack of separation, when your consciousness is totally unbound and set free, you no longer need to push against it or, or worry about the other shoe dropping. That something quite is not right. It's not quite right. <laughs> you no longer need to manipulate reality. To get what you want. So, and here is Lazarus. You know, the, one of the biggest miracles, probably the biggest, other than the resurrection, Jesus, the resurrection of himself, his own resurrection, was the resurrection of Lazarus. I've talked about this in many videos, but today I want to take it from a different standpoint. This is you. Your I am says, you say it with that I am. Lazarus, come forth. You've called forth and entered into your new reality and your new identity. What's that new identity? It's I have love. 
I am loved. I am someone who's lovable. You're with your SP, right? You must be lovable, right? You have love. I'm loved, but there's something still wrong. What is it? Lazarus was, Lazarus rose, right? Lazarus had risen. He was standing there, but he, was, he had a cloth over his eyes. His hands and feet were bound. He was still bound, yet he was in the 3D world. That's you here. You're still bound. Yet you still have fear the other shoe will drop and you will love it. And, right? and, and you will love it. Love is separate. <laughs> that the other shoe will drop. Love is separate or outside of me. That's what you're saying, right? You still have fear that the other shoe will drop and that love is separate and outside of you. I'm not sure what I was saying here. <laughs> okay. The man, so this is what else it says with the reading of Lazarus, with this part of Lazarus in John 11:44. The man who died came forth bound, hand and foot with wrappings on his face. Wrappings, and his face was wrapped with a cloth, wrapped it with a cloth. Jesus, I am, said to him, unbind him and let him go. That's your I am. That's your true identity. That's with you now identifying with no lack at all, with that true identity, with your true I am. Unbind him and let him go. Unbind yourself and let yourself go. There is no other shoe. I am love right? That's your identification now. It's not simply, I have love. I'm, I'm loved. I am someone who is lovable, but I am love. You are love. That's the identification. Now you create from a place of wholeness and oneness. Duality still exists. The possibility of not having love still exists. You just don't choose that possibility anymore. You know that you are love. And you're doing it now just to create, not to get anything out of the 3D world, right? You bring awareness of that I am to your true nature and it unbinds you. You're now unbound, right? Let him go. Unbind him and let him go, right? So, so how do we do it? Here's the process. Here's a process that you can try, right? Identifying as your I am, identifying that hyper. When you're feeling stuck, Right? When you're, or anytime you want to enter a totally new reality, right? Get into, I like to do an alpha state, right? It's relaxed. You're breathing deeply and naturally. You're resisting nothing, right? You're not imagining your wish fulfilled in this case, although it is, a, it is really your wish fulfilled. But what I'm saying, just get into a relaxed state. Then one, imagine standing in front of those two versions of yourself. What two versions am I talking about? These two. Imagine yourself metaphysically standing in front of two versions of yourself. One's the unwanted that says, I don't have love. I'm not loved. I'm someone who is not lovable. The other is I have love. I'm loved. I'm someone who is lovable. You're stepping outside of that new identity that you, with your SP. You're stepping outside both of them, both the unwanted and the wanted. You're observing those two identities. What do you get? from those identities? What do you lose from those two identities? Right? For, for, the, for the unwanted, what do you get? Right? When you, when you identify with the unwanted, what do you get? You get nothing. You get nothing but, but feeling that you're not love, that you don't have love, that you're not lovable. But what do you really have? When you're in that unwanted state, hear this. What's the secret payoff to the unwanted state? The secret payoff is that you still have hope that you'll move to a wanted state without the risk of failure because you're not taking a chance. You're staying in the unwanted state. That's the payoff. It still gives you a glimmer of hope, but you're still unhappy being there. Do you hear this? That's the payoff, right? So, so, but what happens then when you move to the wanted reality? You imagine your wish fulfilled. Well, what do you lose? You lose, now you, you lose that feeling that you don't have love. Now you have love. That's what you gain. You lose that feeling of helplessness, right? And you gain this feeling that I have love. But still, what are you still losing? What are you still missing? That you're still not getting to that feeling that I am love. Do you see this? The deeper assumption of love is still there, that it's separate. And, and, and it emerges from that fear of the other shoe dropping. So as you look at these two realities, you can see them. You're outside of them now. You're no longer in the reality 
of that new reality, identifying with it, where, where, where you can't move to the highest ideal, right? So then lose that identity. Lose, lose both of those identities, right? The unwanted, you've, you've already moved. Don't identify now with even the wanted. Instead, merge with all of it. Bring both identities, the unwanted and your new wanted, into a newer identity that says, I'm not separate from anything. You're not separate from your unwanted. You're not separate from your wanted identity that still doesn't identify as I am love. Do you hear this? You're merging with both. You're standing outside both of these. Here you are, metaphysically, looking at both of these. This one you're just totally rejecting. This one you've, you've embraced, but there's still fear there. There's still something wrong. So you're going to bring it all in now. You're going to merge and bring it all in. And, what, and, and then you're going to be, rise up to no separation. You're not separate for this. You're not separate for that. When you bring that in, you have now have risen to who, who you really are. You know that you are love, right? And you, you're now including everything. Remember, that's what keeps us apart. Infinity includes everything. And when you try to exclude something, or, you, or you're in an identity, like your wanted identity, that feels off, you're still, try, you're still resisting something, trying to exclude something. Infinity includes everything. There's nowhere to put it. You must embody it all. And then rise again in consciousness, this time beyond the simply that wanted reality of I have love, rise to that I am love. That's a true resurrection, right? Unbind him and let him go. That's what Jesus, that's your higher I am saying, right? Lose that identity, emerge your true identity, merge with that true identity, I am love. Embody all of it. You lose those identities by merging with them, not by rejecting them, not by running away from them. Occupying and accepting all of it, you become what you already are, but but you become greater than those parts, right? You're always greater than the sum of the parts. And that, remember, your, your I am is, is a hologram, is everywhere in, in, in all time, right? And it contains everything. You can't possibly be separate from it. That is how to assume your highest ideal, your new reality and true identity. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. Uh, join our group, Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors on Facebook. Uh, you can also visit us on Twitter at Tom Karen, Instagram at Tom Karen, or our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. Until next time, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude. This is Tom. See you soon.